Should every black man with a camera and a passport be considered a passport, bro? We're going to talk about this because there's a video out that was dropped just a few hours ago by Mr. Let Go, who needs to let it go. Just because you see a black man in another country with a passport doesn't necessarily mean that he's a passport bro. We're going to talk about once again the difference between passport bros, travelers, as well as those that are vacationers. But before we go any further, my name is Andre. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Like I always say, we like you. Make sure you like us too. Let's get started immediately with this video. So we can hear why black men such as Mr. Let Go Others on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and even the black church does not like us passport bros. We already know that there are a lot of individuals that don't like what's going on in regards to us as men, especially black men, taking our lives and moving to the other locations. So let's get started. Uh, the passport bros. Have you heard of them? I heard of it. Well, I think it's all stupid, though. Really? Like these guys aren't saying they don't want chicks or, they're, or yes, they, they don't want marriage. They're, they're just female. They're, they're, they're male females. What they're saying, from what I've seen, is, of, of course, not everyone's the same, but for what their relation is, they want women. They want even marriages in a lot of cases. They just don't want it with, no, they don't. with the Western woman. So they go they to don't, Brazil. They don't want, name one dude that went somewhere and got married. No, no. Sounds like he's talking about me. Sound like, once again, I need to give shout outs. Shout out to YouTubers such as ourselves, Love Crossing Borders. Also, shout out to Love, Purpose, and Passports. Shout out to YouTuber Solo Traveler ORD. And also, once again, shout out to Richie Mac. I have photos and videos in my phone of so many men that are in stable, strong relationships with good women in other countries. Yes, there are great women in the United States, but once again, as I continue to say, the Passport Bro movement, it is not, and I repeat, it is not about just looking and lurking for women around the world. It is not about finding a wife. It is actually about finding yourself or acquiring yourself a new life. One thing that they don't want to admit in the United States, especially its citizens, that the United States is not the United that it once was, is not the states that it used to be. So at the end of the day, to see black men especially going out using passports to build new lives, new businesses, network, new languages, and new families. Well, the United States, they kind of shun on that. And the tool in which they use to attack the passport bros is black women and black men. Colombia. Name one of them that went out and found a woman, a wife. I don't know a lot of passports. Thank you. Bros. That's all I'm saying. None of these niggas went out and did shit. As long as we're in the United States, we're black men. As soon as you use your passport and establish a new life in a new location, no matter where you are in the world, other than the United States. In other words, anytime you leave the corporation plantation, you are no longer a black man to black people in the United States. You are technically a nigger. We are talking about the passport bros today and why I personally say that passport bros are Cornballs. Now, mind you, he already said in the footage in which was just presented when he was being interviewed, he doesn't know any passport bros. Just like the video in which we just dropped the church bros versus the passport bros. Once again, Mr. Let Go is an example of men that have not reached out to any of us, knows very little about any of us, and yet has so much to say about us. Whenever somebody has an opinion, it's always, are oh, you hating on this demographic of people? It's not that people are hating on what you're saying. It's not people even hating on your opinion. But if your opinion is based off the fact that you haven't spoken to anyone, you have very little knowledge based off of what you said of the Passport Bro movement, then how we're supposed to at least take your opinion seriously. Do your homework before you run off at the mouth. This is important, in my opinion, because I think the passport bros are causing a lot of problems in the black community. The passport bros are causing a lot of problems in the black community? No, the passport bros are trying to move silently. The problem is vacationers and travelers 
are being bundled into the passport bro movement. Not everyone that has a passport is considered a passport bro. Even those that try to use the moniker of passport bro or even their reasoning for getting a passport was because of the movement. The definition of an individual that's a passport bro is a man that's not looking for women only, not looking for a wife only, but he is looking for a new life. And that's what pisses off individuals in the United States because they feel like how dare you have the audacity to leave the corporation plantation known as the United Snakes of America and actually live happily ever after in another location. So overall, the whole Passport Bros um, community or whatever you want to call it is actually dysfunctional and disruptive to families. Said the man that men doesn't and talk women about passport to bros. Start families or hold their families together. And the reason why is because every time you turn around, there's somebody talking bad about black women, talking bad about women in America, talking bad about somebody, and there's no reason why they're talking about them. You know why they're upset at the fact that men, not just passport bros, but men that travel to other countries, whether they be expats, whether they be passport bros, whether they be travelers, whether it be Pookie and Ray Ray talking about women in the United States. Because the men and the women in the United States find it difficult to keep up with women in other countries unless they talk about, well, we make more money. I know the women down here that are attorneys at the same time that are college professors. I know some of the most attractive public school teachers that you ever met. And at the same time, my wife is a corporate tax accountant, a translator. At the same time, she helps men from the United States get your visa, whether it be your digital nomad visa, your retirement pension visa, or whatever visa that you need to remain in Colombia beyond 160 days. And the sad part is American women are losing because there are educated women in other countries, just like the United States, but there are not as many traditional women in the United States like it is in other countries. So this is what I said about the cornball bros. And then we'll go to the other, another video. Shout out to the cornball bros. Have you heard of this analogy? Pat, uh, the passport bros. Have you heard of them? I heard of it. Well, I think it's all stupid though. Really? Like these guys aren't saying they don't want chicks or, they're, or yes, they that they don't want marriage. They're, they're just female. They're, they're, they're male females. What they're saying, from what I've seen, is, of, of course, not everyone's the same, but for what generalization is, they want women. They want even marriage in a lot of cases. They just don't want it with, no, they don't. with the Western woman. So they go they to don't, prison. They, they don't want marriages. You see my ring. And I'm not the only one. Name one dude that went somewhere and got married. None of them. Columbia. Name one of them that went out and found a woman. A wife. I don't know a lot of pastors. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. None of these niggas went out and did shit. So here's an example of what these dudes are doing over in the other countries. And just for the record, just for the record, before I play this video, hit a like button, hit a like button, hit a like button. Just for the record, before I play this video, I would be over there doing the same thing. I would be over there doing the same thing. <coughs> okay? I'll say it a third time. I would be over there doing the same thing. I'd be able to get getting poom poom combos too. Get let me get let me get three for forty dollars. You, you, and you. Let's go. That ain't the problem. And any of us men who are single and not married will do the same thing. Like I continue to say. It's as if they hired all these individuals that have something against the passport bros to make sure that they center their topics about 
women. Because the truth is, if it ever goes mainstream, that the passport bro movement is actually about getting a new life and that you are actually tired of the life and the politics and the situation and overpaying in the United States for the same things that you get in other countries, your politicians might not be happy about that. So what do they do? They make sure that they center the topics around women. Good women, bad women, married, unmarried, doesn't matter as long as you as passport bros or individuals that are pseudo or pretend to be passport bros talk about women instead of talking about how messed up things are and are continue to be in the United States. Go up there, go to the little menu. Be like, so let me get her, her and her. Here's $40. Boom. Let's get it right. Have a great night. That isn't the problem. So I'm not saying the tourism side of what they're doing is the problem because they're just men being men. But here's the problem before I play this video. I'm waiting on y'all to hit the like button. When y'all hit the like button, I'll play this video. I'm waiting on y'all to hit the like button. The problem is it's three different things that they're doing that I have a problem with. One, they're lying, saying that they're over there looking for a wife. They're not. They're over there looking for uh, a six pack of poom poom. No one said that they're coming over to Colombia, Thailand or whatever, looking for a wife. If you think you're a passport, bro, you need to do an analysis on yourself to make sure that you are not traveling to another location just because of women. He's correct in regards to that, but he's incorrect in regards to the passport, bro. Movement is all about looking for women or looking for a wife. The passport bro movement from the time of World War II when black men decided to not go back to the United States and decided to stay in the countries in which they were, whether it be during the time period of World War II, staying in Italy and staying in other parts of Europe, whether it be during the Korean War and they decided to have wives there and bring them back to the United States, whether it was during the Vietnam War or whether it was during time periods or whether it is modern day passport bro movement. Either way, black men have always decided that they wanted to have new lives. Two, they're filming working women. Have you ever seen any of us purposely putting pay for play women on film so that you could not just visit, but move to these new countries? Pookie Ray Ray on their YouTube channels? Yes. Vacationers? Yes. Travelers? Yes. They often do this. But when it comes to us passport bros, you do not see us with this type of behavior, displaying this type of behavior. What if somebody came to your place of employment, your place of employment and pulled out their phone and started filming you? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, how would you feel? Once again, when tourists come to the United States, that's exactly what they do. They pull out their phones and they film because they're coming to our country from foreign countries and want to keep record of the enjoyment that they had when they came. What if somebody came to your place of employment filming you working? How would you feel? Whether legal, illegal, or what? How would you feel? If somebody came to your job and saw I follow you around with their phone, talking to you, hey, hey, uh, I'm over here at Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm over here at uh, Mercedes car dealership. Hey, I'm following around. How would you feel wherever you work? I would love for him to ask the same question to our white constituents that are travelers. Long before there was a passport bro movement, there were travelers and vacationers that were of the Caucasian persuasion doing YouTube, TikTok and Instagram videos. And yet nobody said anything. But yet when black men do it, there seems to be a problem. Why am I bringing this up? Because these women over in these countries 
are working. These women don't like you. These women don't want you. They're at work. And for you, Mr. Cornball, to be filming a woman that is working or putting herself in a position where she can have a better life because some of the girls aren't working, but they'll get in a relationship with a dude in hopes of him saving her from her present life. Sounds like women in the United States, doesn't it? So at the end of the day, guys, do realize you're going to always have critics, not because they disagree with all that you have to say, not because they disagree with the fact that you've established new lives in new countries, not the fact that you compare women from one country to another country. They don't like the fact that it's black men that are actually having something to say about it, because not one time have you saw in the last few years since the expansion or growth of the passport bro movement that they have anything to say about our white brothers that have been out there showing the same type of content long before the passport bro movement began. You get what I'm saying? But it's not about love. It's not about marriage. The dude is just trying to smash and a girl is hoping and praying like you can get me out of my situation. So, if anybody came around you pulling out their phone, filming you, getting gas, going to work, whatever, you'll feel a certain kind of way. So when you weirdos go into these other countries with your little stupid phone, following the girls around, and they're selling poom poom, you're literally violating their rights that they don't have because we're not in America. See how that works? So what y'all are actually doing is going over in other countries, <laughs> like uh, overstepping your boundaries and violating these women's rights that they don't have because they don't live in America. So let's go to this video and we're going to keep going. But before he goes off into that video, we're going to let you know we're going to be doing a part two to this video. If you want to see it, make sure that you subscribe because he's going to have a lot to say in regards to the video in which he's going to be presenting and you don't want to miss it. And for an individual that calls himself Mr. Let Go, well, I would call myself Mr. Let's Go. Let's get the hell out the United States. Let's make our money. Let's be focused, get our mindset just right, and let all of us who have decided to leave the United States leave in peace. Celebrate us. Be happy for us. I'll see you guys in the comments section. I know you guys have a lot to say, and I got a lot to say to you. So make sure that you meet me there. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. You guys already know I like you. Make sure you like us too. This is not your first time watching one of our videos, and I promise you, it won't be the last.